course before. Can you just talk about getting them out for the Kentucky Derby on win, win, win? Yeah, I've been on him uh, four times. Win on him three, one second. He really, really nice horse. Very uh, forward. Uh, he is pretty much, you know, come from behind and and he makes a big, big huge run when he's when he's ready to go. Uh, just talk about you know getting him back to ride in the you know, the biggest race in well the biggest race in the world. Some would say. Yeah, it's very exciting. Very exciting. I'm very thankful. Uh, to God and to the connection that they, they thought of me uh, after uh, Iraq rode uh, the other horse. Uh, have you ridden in the Derby before? No. I mean, but first you've time. ridden at Churchill Downs before. First time Churchill Downs as well. Really? Well, you've only been here a few minutes. Yes. <laughs> What's your reaction from the back stretch here? It's nice. I like it. It's very <laughs> nice. The track. I just walk up to the track and it's really nice. Yeah, uh, a lot going on, but it's nice. Tell us about Win 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 as a, a horse and what he's like to ride and and uh, what you can tell us about his personality. Or he, uh, he's, like I said, he's a really nice horse and he makes a big run when he's ready to go. Uh, easy to ride, really. You just gotta be careful when you push the button because when you do, he, he'll go. You've been around, gosh, 18 years. Started riding in 2000 yeah. and uh, won a lot of graded stakes, but I, they're hard to come by when you're you know, based in Maryland, I think, because there's not that many opportunities and just sort of uh, you know, talk about that uh, that circuit and and trying to get maybe that breakthrough win that people can see what you can do. Yes, for sure, like you say, you know, hard to come by those good horses and it's even harder to stay on them after you do, but I've been really lucky and fortunate that I've been on some good, some good horses. Just tell us a little bit about yourself, where you I am from Colombia. Uh, my uncles, uh, one of them was a jockey and the other one a trainer. So they got me into it since I was a little kid. Uh, I've been riding horses all my life since I can remember. I, uh, Colombia, it, how much racing is in Colombia? None right now. It's, all the racetracks were closed, unfortunately. Uh, but back then when I was uh, learning, there was a little racetrack open. And that's where I started. I'm trying to think of another jock that's from Colombia. I mean, who else is from Colombia that's right? Right now, I don't, uh, no one here that I can think of. There's been some good riders here from, from Colombia, but not right now. Like I, I guess said, it's it, hard if there's no racing. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. There's nothing. Yeah. How did you settle on the Mid Atlantic? It just, it just yeah. happened when I when I got here. Uh, uh, I started uh, working for Billy Matt, galloping horses for him. And uh, he gave me the opportunity to ride. In fact, the first horse I ever rode it was for uh, Life of Plantation. That was my first ride for Billy Mud, and uh, that's how I got around here. And then I started going to like New Jersey and Delaware, and then I went to Laurel. Now I've been there for 12, 12 13 years now. And, and talk about Mike Trombetta as a, as a trainer, as a horse person. Yeah. Somebody was, else who's been around a long time. And Yeah, like ever since I went to Maryland, to, uh, I've been fortunate to hook up with him. He's a really good trainer, got really nice horses, and and uh, he gave me an opportunity, and ever since I've been riding for him. Really nice person, good, easy to ride for. And Ian, what does win-win-win mean to you? What could he mean to you? A lot. He's, uh, I think it's uh, every jockey's dream to ride the Kentucky Derby. So for me to be able to ride in is uh, very special. Have you talked to other riders? Um, yes, I talked to a couple other riders, and they give me a few advices. Have you talked to Mario Pino? No, I haven't is talked he, to Mario. Is he still no. riding? I don't even know he's still riding. Uh, I think so. I think he, he takes the winter off, I think, and then he goes to Prescott. Yeah. So. Well, who, who are some of the riders you've talked to about the Kentucky Derby? A couple of friends of mine, uh, Belez and right. Ramon Dominguez. What did they tell you? Just to ride it, just to have fun. And ride it as it comes out. <laughs>